But who is your easiest fight in the UFC? Luke Rockhold. <laughs> the easiest I fight. I swear to God, I so much so I said it immediately after knocking him out. I'm like, yeah. oh my God, that was the easiest <laughs> fight I ever had. Who was the toughest fight? Toughest fight. Might be the one where I was unconscious for about half an hour after it, but you know. Say Luke Rockhold for the soundbite. That's such a good soundbite. Ignorance is bliss. Uh, so it wasn't the toughest. Um, I don't know. I don't. There, there was some tough ones. If you, I hate I, the one of the toughest, and I hate saying it because it's not a good name. But one of the toughest was Matt Hamill. You know, that yeah, was a you fuck, said that before. It was a fucking tough fight, man. It was. I got my ass kicked in the first round. It just seems like a fight that would suck to be in. Yeah, well, you know, fucking... He's kicking your ass, he's deaf, he can't even hear your calls for help. Deaf as fuck, strong as fuck. <laughs> he's following me around like a fucking piece of fucking meat. Had me in a headlock, smashing me like his older brother. I'm like, fuck off! There's this no is, upside. This if is you not be, if going you, well. If you beat him up, you beat up a deaf guy. If you yeah, lose, yeah. you got fucking... You know, um, anyway, um, one more question, then we'll, we'll, we'll call it a day. more question... That's just gay. Have you seen each other's dicks? <sighs> no. I haven't. I can unequivocally say I have not seen Lewis's dick, nor will I do at any time soon. Hey, dude, you never know. Else no, 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 no. Else Mania no, 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 no. 16 is coming up. You mind getting there to train me? I won't be there. <gasps> I won't be there. I won't be there. I don't there. believe it. If well, I did if I did Else Mania again, I don't believe that you wouldn't be there. Once is enough, Lewis. You can come again. I... I'll, I'll bet I'll bet everyone listening if I do Ellis Mania again that I guarantee you right there. now if you do Lou Ellis Mania I will not be there I'll okay? bet you a thousand dollars no 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 you won't even come to watch no maybe see um, yeah, it was. Exactly. It was. A, I was just thinking we had a fun time. It was a fun time. Yeah, yeah but, time. but listen, <laughs> listen. If you want to get on a proper promotion, I'll be there with bells on. Yeah, Fucking well. Ellis Mania, and and the and the and the freaks. Um, all right, let's see. Let's see. Any more questions? They're all, uh, we've just gotten a million of these questions before. It's all the same one. Like, who? if you could come back for one guy, who would it be? Um, right, no, right now, Israel Adesanya. What about Israel? No, if I could come back for one more fight, I, I'd like to fight Israel. That would be the one. Yeah, yeah, I, I, and I mean that out of respect. What is the what's the reason? Because you you think his no, because he's got all the hype behind him right now. No, I, I like Israel. I, I, I like the way he carries himself. I like his personality, and I enjoy his fighting style. Just like I always wanted to fight Anderson Silva because I thought I could beat him, which I did, and I was right. And, and Israel seems to be uh, the, the the big breakout star in the middleweight division right now, and and. Not that there's anything uh, against him because I don't have anything and I wish him all the best and I look forward to uh, seeing his climb through the ranks, you know. It's, it seems weird to pinpoint him actually because it's, it's not fair. But yeah, no, I mean, if I was fighting now, if I was still active, that's a better way of saying it. If I was still active, for sure I'd want to fight Israel because he's exciting and, and he, he brings it, he talks it up, he's cool, he's got the momentum, all that good stuff. And that's from a totally respectful Standpoint, you know, no, no if shit. I, I'll, get, I'll answer this question. If you had to come back, if I had to see you come back for one fight right now, if you were to take one fight, the fight that I would want to see you take, it would be Nick Diaz. Nick, that would be the fight. Yeah, I it's a big trying to fucking, get me to fight him recently. I know, of course, I'm sure. A big fucking money fight, huge money fight. Uh, I, I believe so anyway. People could argue all they want that Nick. Somebody said last time because we were talking about Nick Diaz being a draw. Nick Diaz is a fucking draw. I don't know what people are talking about. Nick Diaz, people are going to watch him fight when he comes back, I promise you. And it's also just like, just stylistically, it would be a really fun fight. You're both two guys are going to go in there and just fucking. Yeah, it's a shame because we did speak about it. Yeah, you know, we were in New York once and we hung out a bit. I don't remember much of the night. It was a heavy night. <laughs> I was on my world tour after I just won the belt. I was fucking enjoying myself. I remember um, we went to London and we went to Manchester. And we went somewhere else and we went to New York and it was nonstop, nonstop. You know, interviews, meetings fucking this that and the other TV shows whatever and it was great but I'm burning the candle at both ends so I'm mm. doing all the work from like 6am in the morning to like 5, 6 o'clock at night then me and my buddy you know we're, we're, we're enjoying a few I've just won the world title and I'm fucking touring England I'm going to enjoy myself do mm. you know what I mean i got no fight coming up but I'm burning the candle at both ends and the last stop uh, on this tour was New York and by the time I got to New York man I was sick but it was sick because it was self-induced sickness. You know what I mean? Uh, and I remember I, I had, I'd had a few drinks, and uh, 
I was in no state for anything, to be honest. You know, I, 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 I was sick. You know, I had a sore throat. Uh, I had a headache. I, had a, I hadn't had much sleep the last week. You know, I've been traveling on flights nonstop. I felt like shit. I didn't feel good. And I was supposed to do a front cover shoot for muscle and fitness magazine or something men's mm. health or you know one of those magazines would have been great would have been but I thought I'm in no condition to be having a picture taken to me right now for the front cover of men's health or right. whatever it was um, so I tapped out and I said to the UFC PR people I said oh, I'm sorry I can't do it I can't do it and that wasn't because I'd been partying or whatever it's because literally I'd been going non-stop and I had been burning the candle a little bit at both ends but by this point it had all caught up and I was just too tired and I said, I can't do it. I can't do it. You know, I'm really sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sick. I don't know what I can tell you. I feel like shit. My head's killing. So me and my buddy, we just went and uh, led by the pool. You know, it was it was summer. It was New York. Nice day. Led, led at the rooftop pool. And um, yeah, trying to make myself feel better. I had a couple of cocktails. You know what I mean? Then I get a phone call from Dana White. <laughs> said, what the fuck, bro? I'm like, Dana, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. You know, I don't feel good. He's like, oh. Telling me you haven't been in the pool all day sipping fucking cocktails. Should have got spies. Uh, uh, yeah, exactly, <laughs> oh, no. exactly. Some of the PR team must have seen this motherfucker. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, you know. But I'm just trying to make myself feel better. It's not like that. So, uh, so that was funny. But uh, anyway, I guess that's the end of this episode. That's it. Uh, we'll it's be been back. Good one. We'll release this on Thursday. Uh, sorry, this one today. Yeah, uh, tonight it'll be out on uh, midnight. Or, and we'll have uh, another one out Thursday. Yeah, Thursday morning or so. Tell your friends. Subscribe to the YouTube page. Uh, I don't think we're going to hit 50,000 by Christmas, Lewis, but... That's all right. Close enough. Hey, do you know what? You reach for the uh, moon, you, you land among the stars. There you go. You might be in the gutter, but you're staring at the stars. That's it. Fat boy slim. Um, yeah. Well done, Lewis. Guys, tell your friends, tell your mom, tell your dad, subscribe, all that shit. Thank you. All right, guys quick second to hear from another one of our sponsors apologies guys i know you don't like it but they're essential that's how we keep the lights on around here this one is from four sigmatic i drink the cup this one is from four sigmatic yep you know the one mushroom coffee i like to drink their coffee with lion's mane and chaga every morning lion's mane is uh, essential for the brain lewis especially after you've been knocked out once or twice but they also do some beautiful delicious coffee and it is coffee it's made with 100 percent organic arabica beans and it doesn't taste like mushrooms yeah. nobody wants to taste or drink mushroom coffee it sounds a little weird when you hear mushroom coffee yes. but I'm telling you you know the benefits of mushrooms it's an unbelievable superfood you want to be able to take the benefits of this food what a great way to do it you're drinking coffee every day as it is I love this stuff we have it at the gas digital offices yep. this is all we drink all we hear every time somebody drinks a coffee at gas digital is holy shit this is delicious coffee it's unbelievable. You get all the benefits of that. Here's what you need to plus, do right now. Plus, plus you get the benefits of the mushrooms. It's a superfood. It's good for your brain. There's all kinds of stuff. And these guys do a variety of products as well. So, you know, if mushroom coffee isn't your thing, check it out. It's all healthy. It's all great. And Lewis, you're right. We've got a big offer. Tell them about it. So right now, all you got to do is go to foursigmatic.com slash believe. The product price is out to about a dollar per cup of coffee and it packs a ton of health benefits. So upgrade your coffee right now at foursigmatic.com slash believe. That is four spelled out F O U R S I G M A T I C. That's foursigmatic.com slash believe. All right, guys, this week's episode is brought to you by Ridge Wallet. That's right. Feel down in your pocket right now. You've probably got a big, fat, scruffy wallet in there full of wallet. Receipts, okay, never mind. You know, if you are big, fat, and scruffy and have a big, fat, scruffy wallet, well, that's okay. You're enjoying yourself at the drive thru. But that wallet. That wallet doesn't look good. And we've got Christmas coming up. And you want a, you want a nicer wallet. You want a slick wallet. You want maybe one that's futuristic. One that's clean. One that you can't see inside your pocket, Lewis. One that if you pull it out of the bar and go pay for a drink, the chicks run over and they're like, oh my God. You look like you're fucking James Bond. This wallet is incredible. Yeah. What's your name, Lewis? Gomez. Louis J. Gomez. There you go. That's what I say. Where'd you get your wallet? I got my I got my wallet at RidgeWallet.com, lady. You wow. need to go there right now. Uh, uh, what kind of deals you got, Louis? Let me tell you something. I want to be, me, forget the deal. You know, it's a deal just to even have the wallet. Okay, I'll tell you about the deal in a second. But here's the thing: you, you and I, lady, look at me in the face. Don't walk away from me right now. Hold on, get no, the no, fuck no, back I, over I, here. I, I'm sorry, but he's got two wallets. <laughs> Listen to me. My old wallet sucked. I kept receipts in it, business cards that I never wanted, all this other bullshit that I didn't care about. Now I have my Ridge wallet. I have just the cards that I use, a little bit of cash on the money clip. It's two little metal plates that they that they stick together. It looks classy. Sexy. It looks slick. It looks sexy. It's 
Go to RidgeWallet.com and see what it looks like. They have a bunch of different styles. It's okay. like the Knight Rider of wallets. That's a great way to put it. The Batmobile of wallets. That's a great way to put it, Michael. It's if like your the, wallet could talk to you. The Superman of wallets. It really is. It's like the Michael Bisping of fucking oh, wallets. Fuck me. Uh, <laughs> so here's the deal, okay? It's really cool, and this is also going to be the last wallet you ever need to purchase in your entire life because they're going to give you a lifetime guarantee on your wallet. So you're never going to have to buy another wallet. This is a great holiday gift right now. Go to ridgewallet.com slash BYM. That is R I D G E wallet, W A L L E T dot com slash BYM, and use the promo code BYM if you Click the link in the episode's description. You're saving 10% on the Ridge Wallet, baby. Free worldwide shipping, baby. We ain't fucking around. RidgeWallet.com slash BYM. Go there for the holiday season. Get a wallet. Enjoy your holidays.